You're listening to Linux News Log. Hey everybody, how's it going? I am your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma, California, here in Studio MC2 at QuickSurf Internet Studios. Linux News Log is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there as well. I'd like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the stories for this episode. Starting off over at examiner.com, Battlefield 4 developer DICE wants to make the killer app for Steam machines. So uh, EA Development Group DICE says it takes just one killer game or app to put Linux on the map in terms of gaming. DICE creator director Lars Gustafsson in an interview with uh, Polygon said the developer wants to strongly get into Linux because one killer app or game could convince consumers to adopt the platform. It's not hard to get your hands on Linux, for example. It only takes one game that motivates you to go there, he says. Uh, He believes that the Linux-based Steam machines will help change how people will think of gaming, giving consumers a plethora of possibilities to play. So, pretty interesting. I'll be curious to see uh, what comes of this. Definitely be uh, following what happens. From ITWorld.com, Total War Rome 2 is coming to Linux via SteamOS. That's right. We've got a couple of uh, game-related Linux announcements. So Total War Rome 2 is coming to Linux via SteamOS. Um, Should be pretty interesting. Uh, There is no set date for it yet, but it'll be sometime in the not too distant future. There's a uh, YouTube a link up to a YouTube video that's got the trailer for it. Looks pretty cool. Definitely check it out. From linuxinsider.com, there's a story by uh, Catherine Noyes entitled Which Distro is Best for Beginners? Now, this is something that is always asked. And uh, you know, I think she did a fantastic write up of uh you know what a lot of people myself included bounces around in their heads when someone asks them which 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 i want to get into linux which one's the best distro and it's it's like well it really depends on what you're trying to do um so definitely uh, give it a read and uh check it out From ZDNet, Ubuntu syncs up with OpenStack. Canonical, Ubuntu's parent company, will release Ubuntu 13.10, Sauce Salamander. Most people are on October 17th. uh, That will happen. Most people will be interested in the desktop version of Ubuntu 13.10, but more people may be actually or may actually end up using the latest Ubuntu distribution on the cloud than they will on the desktop. That's because at the same time, Canonical makes its semi annual desktop play and starting its attempt to grab some of the mobile market with Ubuntu Touch, it will also be releasing the latest version of OpenStack Infrastructure as a Service Cloud Havana. So pretty cool. Definitely check it out. Um, Stephen uh, Javon Nichols always does uh, pretty good write-ups. From InfoQ.com, Samsung is slowing development of Tizen OS and postponing the launch of Smartphone Revision 1. This is kind of disappointing, but at the same time, not really surprising since Samsung has effectively forked, uh, and I mean effectively forked, uh, Android. And uh, they've been developing Tizen. You know, Intel's been involved in there, and Tizen's had this really long, uh, storied history, if you will, and... You know, it would be nice if someone would just release a phone already with Tizen running on it. Uh, Samsung has decided to slow development on the Tizen platform. It's an open source Linux based mobile operating system born out of an alliance with Intel. According to Taiwanese publication Digitimes, this is very likely tied as much to the immense popularity of Android, which holds nearly 80 percent of the global smartphone market, as it is the fact that Google's platform is incorporated into Samsung's entire mobile product line 
A shift in such a competitive market would be incredibly risky for Samsung, particularly given its own stake in Google's mobile operating system. So, interesting. Uh, they've, you know, the, undoubtedly they're still working behind the scenes, but the release of the Tizen phone has been postponed. It was originally supposed to be released with the Galaxy S3. Uh, however, Samsung has decided that it would be best if um, they push it back and um, an official release date may be announced at the first official developer conference uh, set to take place October 27th through 29th in San Francisco, right down the street from me. Actually, not down the street. It's about 45 minutes south, but still, I'm not going. <laughs> uh, so, should be pretty interesting. I'm curious to see what they do. We'll be following this and we'll report on it when we have more information. From Muckware, Cinnamon 2.0 is now officially available. The Linux Mint team has announced the new release of Cinnamon 2.0. This version ships with 856 commits from 28 developers, a lot of bug fixes and new features like better edge tiling, edge snapping, sound effects, better user management improvements in file manager, Nemo and window manager improvements. So uh, pretty neat. Definitely check it out if you are a Cinnamon user or a Mint user. Um, that will do it for this edition of Linux News Log. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes, which you can find online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. And with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. See you then. Bye.